Welcome back. Now, according to the most recent data from the Niger National Insurance Commission, NICOM, the gross premium generated by the insurance sector increased by 39% year on year to $312 billion in the first quarter of 2023. However, on a quarter on quarter basis, the gross premium income declined significantly by 47% quarter on quarter. The total premium figure comprised income generated from the life insurance and non-life insurance businesses, which were down by minus 64% quarter on quarter and minus 52% quarter on quarter to 111 billion naira and 201 billion naira respectively. My guess is the research lead of Intel Point, the data and research arm of Tech Premier Media, publishers of Tech Point Africa. Over the last three years, he has overseen the release of 15 report and counting. He joins me now to look at the critical issues concerning the insurance sector. Good morning to you, Yinka. Thanks for joining me. All right, let's talk about insurance, uh, it's, which is really not something most people, you know, would really want to say they relate to it on a daily basis. Because uh, if you ask uh, uh, people, uh, are you insured? Uh, what insurance um, covers you have? Most likely, you'll tell you that um, they are not insured, except for those who have vehicles. They tell you that maybe they have third-party insurance. So, what exactly is going on? What, why do we have this uh, low? penetration okay. in the country okay yeah uh, so there's the education part and there's also the uh, uh, cultural and societal uh, belief part uh, you are pushed on to try and okay yes why don't you have insurance mm -hmm. and the next thing they are telling is that uh, you are probably wishing bad on, on <laughs> them and stuff like that yeah let's go yeah. for the bad you know stuff like that yes so uh there is that and then there's mm -hmm. also education or not knowing the importance of insurance yes important you are asked to buy insurance just in the case of an eventuality if something bad happens sure. so you have something to fall back mm. on you have something to make you whole so or there's still that part of not knowing the importance of insurance what it's meant to do it's meant to protect you yes uh, at the end of the day you might not get yeah. uh, uh, um, that thing might not happen mm -hmm. but then if it happens so yeah. there should be something to fall back on which is what insurance is really Okay, so uh, what you, you talked about a uh, low level of education when it comes to uh, knowledge of insurance. Uh, who should we uh, uh, place that responsibility on? Is it that insurance companies are not really doing enough education to get more people to believe in education? Or maybe they are doing their best now. Nigerians don't just want to believe in it, um, uh, what insurance can actually you know, do for them. Yeah, uh, it's two ways. One, the insurance companies, they are doing their best. So um, the insurance companies that we, we interviewed for the reports, mm. like uh, a majority of them said at any point in time, they have yeah. a marketing campaign running, okay. informing people about the importance mm. of insurance, why they should have it for their business. And they also have their sales agents out on the feed mm. telling people why they should buy insurance. So there is that. And there's also, so uh, some of the businesses are so good that have ins insurance agents come to them mm. see tell you that yes these guys come but we still don't see mm. see the need for it and we we still not going for it and then there's also the part that they said it's expensive and that's really lack of awareness because yes insurance you are being probably doing about uh, the highest from our reports about 7.5 percent mm -hmm. and so for them that's this said but if you are, have some feel of uh, 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 a business out of a millionaire and you have to pay about 75 or thereabout as premium every year this is take it as if it's expensive so mm. uh, yes there's yes they are all doing their bits in terms of but it still boils down to the business to make the decision of say yes mm. uh, i've been approached by mm. this i should be the one to go ahead and protect my business for this all right Okay, interesting. Now, uh, you just released a report uh, sometime in January concerning the industry, the insurance sector specifically. And, uh, you know, interesting findings that uh, you made. Uh, specifically, you talked about how, you know, premiums were actually driven mostly by um, life insurance. Is it Nigerians actually would want to prefer to insure their lives as against um, uh, insuring other aspects of um, the things that concern them? Uh, okay, so um, so there is that so because yes, so you we are going to die. That's that. Okay, <laughs> so uh, yeah. so I believe that more play a key role in people going for life insurance. Mm -hmm. So uh, for life insurance, so you have the uh, life insurance, you have the group life, mm -hmm. and you have the annuity. So even from that, when you break life insurance into three, you see mm -hmm. that life 
individual life still has the highest share. So, and then, so uh, the, the theory is that uh, uh, most high net worth individuals are the one really driving this. Oh, okay. That's my theory that they are the one really driving it because um, f for them, it's a way to pass down mm -hmm. uh, uh, wealth to their uh, offspring. So, so there's that. They, yes, as I said, so it's inevitable. So, mm. protecting that. Yeah as to say accident which can or mine i mean which may or may not happen True. but definitely so so i believe that's one of the reasons why uh, mm. our life is really the one driving driving and there's also the group life insurance which is mandatory for for mm. companies operating in nigeria so far they eat a certain number of or, uh, 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 of workers so you have to have group life insurance so mm. i believe that's also one of the reasons why life is really driving insurance in nigeria okay so let's uh, look um, critically at your report and the findings and uh, let's even look at some parameters uh, basically it was uh, uh done for 2020 uh, that's um, in the in the face of uh, when we had um, the NSAS, uh, you NSAS know demonstration part, yeah. of course we we're all just coming out of covid 19 so what were the key, aside from the fact that uh, you know it was driven by life assurance what other key findings or interesting findings did you come out with from the report oh, okay so um yes yeah, so if we're talking about how insurance uh, i mean businesses say they don't know where to start okay like that's their one of their key uh, the key reasons why they don't buy insurances one they don't know where to start uh it's too expensive uh insurance uh, uh guys don't come around or they don't see the need mm -hmm. for insurance for their business uh there's also the part of the uh, insurance companies where there is this uh, disparity between insurance companies and their uh, their agents in terms of the uh, of the challenges of the sector mm -hmm. so you have challenges like yes uh, insurance company claiming i mean insurance agents claiming that yes uh they are not being compensated well enough for their workload and on the other parts insurance companies say yes they are being fairly fairly compensated so yes uh there are a lot of that and then there's also the fact that uh, uh insurance in nigeria yes the growth is not as uh, uh expected but then from 500 billion naira in mm -hmm. Uh, 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 market in 2010 mm. to 200 and i mean to 2.3 trillion, trillion in, in 2020 uh, uh 20 2021 so okay. it's really uh, uh uh it's really uh remarkable remarkable okay. growth okay also um, i'm also seeing some um key um, statistics uh, that you mentioned in your report you talked about um how uh the percentage of our insurance contribution to GDP is just about 0.32. Yes. Then uh, of the 12 million cars um, in Nigeria, it's just, um, uh, we have so far about 3.4 million. Yes, and you yeah, also I talked about uh, the industry's uh, gross and premium income to 2022, about representing about um, seven, 726.2 billion. Uh, so how far is insurance doing in Nigeria compared to other parts um, of Africa? No, so uh, right now, so uh, as of 2021, insurance contributes about 2.13% okay. to the African insurance yeah. turnover in 2021, okay. which is like very, very minute considering uh, 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 the fact that, yes, Africa is the largest yeah. uh, uh, economy on the continent, yeah, the largest uh, uh, population and stuff like that. But then when you look at our contribution, yeah. it's still pretty low and we are ranked number five. So um, what that tells you is that, yes, that's why, that's why having 2.3%, yeah. I mean 2.13%, we we'll stay at number five, which means that like a lot of uh, other African countries are really not doing okay. great in terms of uh, uh, insurance in Africa. So yet it's not an isolated case, but then considering uh, the, the size of our economy and our population, uh, I think it definitely it's really uh, not looking good. Okay, your report also covered uh, 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 basic trends of um, the nation's insurance industry in the last 13 years. Can you just highlight some of them? Okay, so uh, the basic trends in the last 13 years, you see that um, I said the fact that life is a major contributor of insurance okay. premium in the last 13 years. Uh, uh, there's also the fact that we have oil and gas and motor insurance at okay. Uh, in that order so life number one oil and gas number two and, and the interesting fact is that of those top three two of them are somewhat uh, mandatory so you have the group life insurance which mm -hmm. is mandatory for companies and you have the motor insurance at least if you are driving a car on mm -hmm. the nigerian road you must have at least a third party yeah. so uh, i believe the mandatory status of life as well as a motor is what contributes to make it that yes you have up to uh, the 
uh, part of the top three Asia. So uh, now imagine if you have uh, uh, other se other uh, sector, I mean other uh, products in insurance, yeah. and make them mandatory. Yeah. So definitely, it could drive drive off their uh, turnover and. Okay, so with all that forward. we have seen, uh, all that um, that um, you know you have um, highlighted in your report, that let's really project and let's see uh, if we can actually help the sector really grow. We've identified the challenge of um, knowledge based and um, education and all of that. So, what more can we do? Uh, or maybe the joint uh, practitioner, because you also highlighted the major players. You know, what can be done to ensure that? Um, at least uh, we see insurance for what it is, what it is okay. really, and um, you know, so we can actually make it like um, an everyday part of our life. Aside from the fact that you talked, you talked about more knowledge, what else do we need to do? In as much as we're doing our own advocacy here on TV, what more can we do? Uh, yeah. Um, so one of the things that we can do is doing more of coming through for people when. Uh, uh, something happens. So I uh, think mm. the COVID, I mean the COVID-19 and the mm. uh, uh, enters and then we have a lot of vandalism and looting. Mm. So insurance uh, uh, industry paid about 9 billion naira yeah. to victims during f for, for that, during that period. Yeah. So now imagine, so uh, for someone that got uh, uh, some form of compensation after mm. looting and vandalism, that person is definitely not dropping off the insurance insurance mm. market it would keep buying and probably tell pe other people to buy so if you have that that insurance company are paying premium as i win do i mean paying they, back they, uh, most claim. people believe yes, that most times they when they bring claims no that they feel that's the mindset people have that when they bring claims insurance will want to look for reasons why they wouldn't want to even compensate no so the issue is when you buy insurance you they give you a, a policy document mm -hmm. which states what you can make claim on okay. and and what you can't, you can't. make claim on okay. and most cases we don't read so you don't read it and then it happens and you bring it so i bought an insurance uh, uh, last year uh, i think last year two years ago and then afterwards uh, uh, i got the policy document and i saw the policy document read through the the fine print and discovered that yes there are something that the person that sold insurance to me did not highlight. Okay. So I just felt like, oh no, 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 this is if was it something like, was happened. It deliberate or he no, I, I, I won't I won't say deliberate. I won't say deliberate. I don't even know because okay. it's it's really he didn't I'm just like okay. So I read it, I just like no no no. I just call up I I saw this I just I said, okay, no, this is, I this is what I should this is what I should do. I just get an affidavit to cover this mm. before that thing happens. Mm. And I get that. I told her, okay, I will get it. But he said that if I should get that, that mm. covers me if that thing happens. So it's a case of yes, we know reading mm. the fine print to know what your most, claim, most what you can read all instructions. <laughs> so you say terms and conditions apply, and you don't read the terms and conditions. So yeah. I, I believe that's one of the major. If we read terms and conditions of mm. what we are buying, yes. that protects us if we want to make claim. You know mm. what you can make. Uh, the claims you can make and yeah. the ones you can make. So yes, uh, that, that's one of the reasons. I also believe that going by, uh, so there's this insurance company in, a, a, I mean, startup in, in South Africa, uh, Pineapple. So as of 2019, when I uh, spoke with the founder, so what they do is you buy a uh, 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 premium, I mean, yeah. you pay premium, yeah. and at the end of the year, if you don't make a claim, you get a certain percentage of your money back. That does not happen in As, So it's a startup <laughs> that is doing this. So oh, it's not startup. a okay. traditional. Okay. Okay. So now imagine if I pay premium mm. and at the end of the year I did not make a claim mm. and you are giving me back, even if it's as low as say 20 to 30 percent mm. back. And or, uh, when I'm paying the following year, mm. I pay reduce. So that mm. means that more people are likely going to. All right. Okay, well, great points now. So, uh, so far, we've seen the fact that uh, we need to do more education for Nigerians and, um, you know, Nigerians need to just come to par with what's happening um, all over the world. But would you really say, as we wrap up now, would you really say that um, insurance is actually expensive in Nigeria? Because what I know is that in, in the Western world, insurance, are even, insurance come even financiers of banks. But in this case, in, in Nigeria or, somewhere, or West Africa, you find out that banks are the ones financing insurance companies. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> I wouldn't say insurance is expensive in Nigeria, so yeah. it's about our uh, purchasing power. Okay. So we have low purchasing power. Mm. You're paying about 7% or thereabout for, for an insurance. So it's it's really, um, for car insurance, premium is 5% for me. Mm. So 5%, it's okay. really low compared to what's happening in other markets. Right. So 
Yes, so insurance is not expensive. I believe it's not expensive, but mm -hmm. there is a part of the low purchasing power on mm -hmm. the part of the people. All right. Thank you so much, Inka. Uh, my directors are all like uh, saying lots of stuff in my um, ears, and I have to like uh, leave the set. But I'm also a very big thank you to you for coming on the show yeah, to just highlight some of um, those uh, findings that you made from your research. And uh, we trust that when you make other researches, I will come, we'll be able to come talk about them in Definitely. future. Definitely. All right, my guest has been uh, Yinka uh, Awo Sonya. Sonya. Uh, he is uh, the lead researcher of um, Intel Point. I've been looking at um, the role of education in the nation's uh, industri uh, insurance industry and how we can actually boot um, the penetration in the country. Business Insight will return to your screen same time. Many thanks for being a part of the show. I am Justin Akadonye. <laughs>